guys, it's Melanie from MelanieKham.com. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're gonna make this key fob. It's made out of cork and it takes five minutes. So really excited about this tutorial today. All you need is a little bit of cork and some hardware. All the details are on my blog. As always, written instructions are there for you, as well as links for where you can find hardware and cork and all the good things. So. Let's jump right in. I'm going to show you how to make it. All right, here is what we need for our key fob. We're going to be using cork fabric. So I cut mine two and a half by 10 inches. Here are some of the other great cork options I re recently purchased. I will have links for where you can find all of this in the description below. So here is my cork. You can just use a regular rotary cutter or some scissors. Excuse the noise. I have a new studio mate. <laughs> Gracie, Gracie. Anyway, all right, so you need your cork, you need some needle nose pliers, you need your key fob hardware, scrap piece of batting, and then some coordinating thread. If your key fob hardware looks a little bit different than mine, that's totally fine. This is one and a quarter inches wide, and so mine is cut two and a half, so you basically need to double it. It's helpful to have some of these clips on hand. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold our cork in half long ways and clip it. Okay, now we're going to take this over to the sewing machine and we're going to sew an eighth of an inch seam allowance, so right close to the edge on the raw side and then also on this folded side. Make sure you're using a coordinating thread color. It's also helpful to bump up your stitch length to uh, about a three because it's a little bit thicker. We don't need to have a tiny stitch. One thing that I like to do is along this raw side, sometimes if you've got a little bit of overlap or it's not totally even, that's not a big deal, we'll just trim it. So take your ruler and just line that up. And we can just clean that up ever so slightly. You can also use some scissors. Okay, once everything is nice and cleaned up, if you like one side over the other, I kind of like this one, so I'm gonna fold it this way. Okay, the first thing we wanna do is close this opening a little bit, and the scrap piece of batting is to cover the metal so that we don't scratch it. I'm just gonna close it a little ways. It's a little less to fuss with. We'll line up our short edges and just make sure that everything is trimmed and looking neat and tidy and then we will insert that into our hardware. Make sure it's pushed all the way up to the top on both sides. And we'll hold that in place and pinch it down. So I like to get it mostly there and then really give it a good squeeze. You can just use it like this or you can attach one of these key rings. And there you go. Literally in less than five minutes, you've got a gorgeous cork key fob, amazing for gifts. I mean, so many fun uses. Enjoy.